Hello everyone, my name is Bhagwan Bolina. Welcome to my channel Decode Cloud, where we delve into the fascinating world of cloud security. So one of our today's topic is IAM privilege escalation using the misconfigured policy. So a small assumption that we are making is the user Paul credentials. We have received these credentials from the one of the Git repository. Okay, while digging uh, the Git repositories, imagine you found these credentials. Now we'll see what all. Uh, access that this user has in the AWS account, target AWS account. So I just tried to list down the RDS uh, instances, okay, described DB instances. As you can see, I error message saying that access denied. So let's see what, let's list down the user policies. So we have seen that EC2 read write policy, right, which has attached to this user. Let's dig down more. Uh, now you can see there is a default version V1. So this uh, policy has some versions, right? So we'll be checking out what all versions this has, or first we'll check down the version ID of V1, what all the actions that the user can do, right? I am get role, get policy version. So it is very important to see that what all actions that this user has in the V1, right? There is something called list policy versions in the end and set default, default policy version too. So these are the two important actions that this user can perform as part of the V1 version, right? Now let's try to see, list down the policy versions first and we'll try to uh, use one of the policy versions which has over privileges, right? As you can see, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 are the versions of these policies. Let's see each one of the policy, what all access this user has. Now let's, uh, we have already seen the V1, let's see the V2. So I've seen for V3, as you can see in the V3, there is a list endpoints by platform application, get endpoint attributes, get SMS attributes, and SNS add permission to. Let's see V4. In the V4, we have security hub, list members, get usage, get findings, update action targets. So let's see for V5. So yeah, this is the nightmare, okay. So which has wildcard for both action and resource. So let's use this white V5 and let's set this V5 as a uh, default version policy. Let's see, uh, since it has a wildcard, so we'll be able to use or describe the RDS instances now easily. As you can see, there are no DB instances, but initially since we have received the access denied, but now we were able to witness that DB instances are not present. And yeah, this is a simple privilege escalation uh, in the AWS IAM using the multiple policy versions which in which one of the policy versions has a uh, high privilege uh, over the entire AWS account, right? Thank you so much.